Hi, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a human being who found himself the victim of targeting, gang stalking, electrocution, poisoning, covert drugging, uh, attack with biological and nanotechnological uh, entities, I don't even know what you're going to call it, infestation with parasites, gassing, uh, you know, loss of personal property, destruction of personal property, break-ins, gaslighting, uh, misdiagnosis, blacklisting, refusal of treatment, etc., 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 you know, hacking of my phones, my computers, destruction of cameras and video cameras and radios, and, you know, the list just goes on and on. Anyway, why am I speaking now? Because I really don't get it, you know? It's like just when I think I got some clue as to why this world is so wacky doodle and why my experience is so over the top. You know, just when I think that maybe I can make up some mental construct that allows me to survive with a modicum of, uh, of sensibility and sensitivity, I hear this news. You know, it's like one thing after another after another. I have a friend who is uh, rather old and has some kind of possibly cancerous stuff going on in the lungs and refused treatment at the hospital, was sent home with an oxygen thing to go and, you know, whatever. She didn't want him to cut her all up and do stuff to her. She wanted to have her last time. You know, she's already missing one leg. And the doctors promised her, oh, we can fix that. We'll take some veins out of your arm, which they did, and put them into your leg, and that didn't work, so they chopped it off. So she said, why did I even bother? <laughs> you know? Anyway, she's home. she got the oxygen machine, brrr, giving her oxygen. They thought they had turned the machine off. The woman was smoking three packs of cigarettes a day. After the hospital visit, and she couldn't breathe, and the oxygen thing, she cut it down to, like, four, five, seven, ten drags on a cigarette a day, you know, as little as humanly possible. She went for a couple of weeks without nicotine and she just couldn't stand it anymore. So the daughter gives her the cigarette and she leaves it in and the woman lights it thinking that the oxygen is off. And what happens? Boom! Bursts into flames. And now she's in the trauma ward. Uh, with second degree burns in her nose, nasal cavity, esophagus, mouth, face, hair, eyes. I, I don't know the extent of the damage yet, but this poor woman, I mean, you know, what did she ever do to deserve this? Raised to a kid, loved her husband, kept to herself, worked really hard, mind her own business, pray to God, believes in Christ, you know, it's like one hardship after another, after another. Yeah, and the voice in my head is telling me, he's testing you. God is testing us. Well, perhaps. But uh, haven't we seen enough carnage? Enough death? Enough suffering? Enough starvation? Enough illness? Enough warfare? Enough? Enough, enough already. Come on, humanity. What is the matter with you? Wake up from your trance, please. Awake. You know, I've been watching some shows about hypnosis, and I've been told that if you walk down the street and yell, sleep into a crowd, at least a few of the people will go under for a second. We are in a hypnotic trance, people. We're going through our lives believing in this reality as though it's, you know, <laughs> the only thing. And I really don't think that that's all there is. Uh, you know, if 
you take all the illusions and delusions, misinformation and misdirection and confusion Symphony. and put them aside and find what's truly real, I don't think this is all we'll have. I mean, because we can only see this tiny nanometer fractional part of the electromagnetic spectrum. We can't see scalar energy, dark energy. You know, there's so much going on that we're pretending isn't happening here. Um, I don't know. I, I'm just, you know, I, I just came back from the dentist. The dentist. Where I'm going to have what little bit is left of my top row of teeth. I think I have now one, two, three, four and a half. And I'm going to have them removed. Not because I want to, not because I'd like to, uh, but because I have to, because the infections from the broken, it's, it's, it's killing me. And uh, this thing still hasn't gone away yet. I got that the night I came home from the doctor. I live in a wonderful world full of beautiful people and all kinds of crazy stuff that is warped my in you know look at me man what did I do what did I ever do <laughs> so I guess uh, I'm gonna just keep asking because I keep asking God hey it's me um, I'm sorry to have to ask you this but I really 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 need you to show me some truth i really need you to help my faith because and it's ridiculous because if you look at my life i've had so many experiences that say god is real and he cares about you and yet i've been trained to believe that i'm worthless i've been trained to believe all kinds of nonsense that isn't true. And, uh, who knows? Who really knows? You know, I'm finding that the things that are important are sometimes the most difficult. Peace of mind, peace, quiet, food, shelter, and most important of all, loved ones and your connection with the Almighty. I guess that's all I meant to say for now. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And God bless us all. God bless us all.